welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, my boots are clever shout. All will be revealed, lads. I'm about to give you a gift. Oh, don't look. Jeez. I won't look. And the hike begins. No, the hike. Right, Let's go, boys. Let's go. Time to dominate the land. <laughs> he might not be a philosopher, so he was an emperor. It's my cousin Lou. Right, mate. Right, mate. Thank you for your time. Yo, this is my cousin Brandino. Hey. Hello. Nice uh, to meet you. <laughs> favourite philosopher and why? Oh. Okay. Favourite philosopher. Let's go Aurelius. Nice. He might not be a philosopher, because obviously he was an emperor, but he's just got the most practical knowledge. And it's just the fact that he wrote a book not intended for anyone but himself is like the best sort of self-help because he's not trying to sell something. Mm -hmm. It's just, he's just saying what he has learned over time doing the hardest thing imaginable. And nice. he's lost so many kids through his life. He could easily be a power hungry, like dictator, but he wasn't. No ego to him, to his lessons and stuff. Uh, and yeah, his, his book, just meditations, you can go, go back to flip, flip over. Nice. Uh, but yeah. Nice. That is it. Love it. Nice. Appreciate your time, mate. It's my cousin Lou. Right, mate. Right, mate. What's one practice that you would suggest to other men? Work out. Why? Build the physical palace because there's no greater gift or there's no greater service you can do to the creator than craft yourself into the best physical shape you possibly can. Nice. And fall in love with training. Nice. That's him. smaller the number, the higher the quality of the friendship. They're Iranian, but some of them say they're Persian. And I don't understand the... Well, Persia, they just changed the name to Iran in like 19... I think it was like 36 or something like this, I can't remember. But they were essentially, it was a new king, and he wanted to create a new reign. So he just named it Iran. But they eventually, you know, they had real big control issues from Turkey, also from Great Britain as well. I saw that going. I saw it too. Oh my god. Gone, G.
Hello, Joe. What's up? What is the best gift that someone could give to you? Their time. Why? Because it's the most precious gift we have. The most valuable thing we have. Exactly. That's time and attention. Nice. Thank you for your time. You're very welcome. What's one thing you learnt from the army that you can apply to the rest of just general life? What one thing? There's, one there's thing. so many. Pick I one. The, I think the biggest and most useful would be discipline. Yeah. Had that. The, the ability to do something you don't want to do it in the moment you need to do it. Yeah. You just have to do it. it on. Yeah. Nice. And and being your Everybody can do things for somebody else, but they can never do it for themselves. Yeah. So you you get up early to go to work, but you don't yeah. get up early on your day off to work for yourself. Yeah, exactly. And, and the discipline you learn to kind of go work for yourself. Yeah. And Doing work it because you have to, not because you need to. Yeah. Nice. Round two. What's the first and second thing you're doing if I gave you 50 grand? <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I'm doing is strategizing how to use it. Nice. And then the second thing I'm doing is using it. Yeah, but what way? I need specifics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I'll keep the first one as the first thing I'm doing is I'll strategize how to use it. And then what's the, the second thing is like, what's the first thing you're purchasing? Well, or you could just buy something. I'd probably book up my stay in the hostel. I would still do what I'm doing. Yeah. I would just have that behind me. And then keep that money. Keep that money. It That's was actually, a smart decision. Yes. It would actually motivate me to get rid of more stuff as well. Yeah. Because so I like one principle of minimalism is like whenever you buy something, if you're talking about material things, for everything you buy, get rid of one thing. Yeah. And then it just, then it just replaces that thing. And then you never yeah. have too many. What would you do? Um, if I gave you 50 grand. Which um, is an interesting amount as well. Because yeah, I know. There's loads That's, where you could yeah. buy a house. And but. I didn't want to do too little, but... Um, Honestly, I'd probably put it into a trade and I'd also put it into, my dad's got some shares, so I'd just chuck some fucking, I'd put like 10 grand in there, mate. It could double like next year. I wouldn't like, a few years ago, I would have just bought like a pound of weed <laughs> straight away. That's the first thing I would have done. Yeah. I would have bought an ounce instantly. I wouldn't have even questioned it as well. That, that was a bad decision. <laughs> The hype was amazing. Sometimes it's important to have a masculine celebration. <laughs>